All right, what's going on, guys? So, yeah, I'm starting a new series here on my channel. This is Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Now, this is a game that was released on Steam in 2016, actually. And, you know, I just found out that it's actually coming to, to the Switch, Switch and PS4 next year. But, yeah. Anyways, um... According to, so here's what it says on the Steam page. Valhalla is a bosom up about waifus, technology, and post dystopia life. They had me at, at waifus, let's go. So here's the thing, I already recorded, I actually already recorded this first episode, but then, uh, yeah, my audio messed up. So yeah, as you can see, I already have a, if you look here, I already have a save file. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, yep, as, as, as I said, my recording messed up. So I guess I'll just, I'm just gonna have to re record it. So, yeah. So that means, you know, my reactions for this first episode aren't gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna, be, I'm not completely blind. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah, as you can, as it says, this game is best played getting comfortable. I get to grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. I don't have some drinks or snacks. But yeah, we hope you have a good time. Thanks, developers. Sukiban Games. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo. You and... Why are you in the TV? How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of the main character. Don't break the fourth wall there. I know you served a bunch of, of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and get, look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brightest side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. So, uh, according to the achievements, the game achievements, Primera, I, I believe, means first. Is that it? Right? Your membership to the Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to, back to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Four. Yeah, yeah, okay, so the the chapter's name does mean first. So cool. Anyway, we have our phone here. You can check it out. So here we have the augmented eye, which is a newspaper. It's a, yeah, basically the news. Cyborg and Heels return next year to the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lan Lana Smithy. So yeah, you guys can read it if you want. I'm not going to read it out loud because it's a lot of reading. You, well, this game is a lot of reading, but yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to slowly scroll down. You guys can pause the video if you want. The cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. Yeah, anyway, yeah, if you want to read that, just pause the video. Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security. By Kim Kimberly La Lavalette.
And last one. Mass immigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments by Kimberly. <laughs> they don't know shit, con concluded Quincy. So yeah, this is our music player. And here we can save or, or load our game. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is here right now. So we can, let's go to work. Tuesday, December 13th. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, hey, John. <laughs> when will you admit you have a John face, Gil? When, when you let people call you Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? But no, she went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just checking... I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? So I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Ah. This is also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. So that, that weird girl's on the TV again. Get out of my TV. Not to mention the fact that two days ago, I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So now I'm leaving my, my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, Neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss friend again. And it, it's all the beer cans around my apartment, and... Jill... Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go to the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make me, if you can make me a pian piano man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second here, okay? So yeah, here's the tutorial. Start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the rest, the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also start drinks like flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the de desired amount of ingredients that, from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Gill. When done, press the mix button. And then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you need to press the reset button to try again. You can press reset anytime, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm the one who went through the formal BTC instruction. Then there should be no problem. Sigh. He wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. So yeah, yeah, since I already played this first part, I already did the tutorial, so yeah. But, you know, I'll just show, give, show you guys the tutorial then. You want the sugar rush? So, which is two Adelheid and one powdered delta. Alright. And with optional karma try, I'm not going to put that in. Anyway, we'll just mix and then stop. And that's how you make a drink. Serve. Here, happy now? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Sigh. I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over 5 seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and, and age buttons on the, left, on the side to select the one you need. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add at the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind though. F just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. Give Gil a moon blast. Alright, use moon blast! The fairy type move. It's super effective. Is it super effective? I don't know what type is he. Anyway, six Adelheid, one powdered delta, one flannel guide, and two karma trying. On the rocks, that's and blend it. Hmm. 
Here's a moon blast. Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But the recipe already has over 10 ingredients. The drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional... Optional karma try, you can... It means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional karma try doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Karma try is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't taste change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys. Oh, but eh? Who, who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, let's either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for, that, that's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility on our, onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. <laughs> you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be sleeping soundly. To be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? While well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you know me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me... For leaving me to deal with all the, all that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine! With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with song before it can start. I wonder what's the logic behind that decision. So, jukebox. So yeah, we have all these songs. I'm just gonna like put in like the first 12 songs I see, I guess. There. So these are the songs that we're playing throughout the day. Yep. Time to make drinks and change lives. Hey you, get me a beer. Oh sure, right on it. Who wants a beer? Looks like quite the big guy though. So yeah, be big guy. That's the that's a hint. That means he wants a big beer. Yeah, pay attention to like what they say for pay attention to what they say and and yeah what they imply so yeah look like a big guy so he should have a big beer so i'm not sure why we have to mix beer anyway let's let's make it we can make it big by doubling the ingredients so yeah And all mixed. Here's a big beer. Here you go. Yeah, this one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Nice job. Um, thanks, I guess. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a prince like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. Not New Jersey 3. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? Mr. D talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor of and owner of the Augmented Eye. So like J. Jonah Jameson? 
Is that what it's supposed to be like? Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite an interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Atlas Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about uh, that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals is... Goals and nobody else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. Ah, uh, that clickbait. Gotta have clickbait. And clicks bring money. And money brings nice stuff. That's true. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. But I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about this, them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read the newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help them make full-time... It'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker. But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the, from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? You will get dissent... Dissensi... Dissensi... People get bored after a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now, you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. Like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about, about how, how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks from them. them they know they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all over all diva on them, all diva like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about? No wait, I was given another newspaper. Yeah, the columns in, 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 on your page are annoying. See. The kid in, on the restaurant critique column, uh, um, uh, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyways, Colin is, is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hit th it's than the obituaries. Oof. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he, he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk makes me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Okay, another beer. Let's give him another big one then. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life world worthwhile. How about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? 
Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional right to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who is that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm installing the building, not you. You could think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. This, those folks... People, those folks people pretend to love but actually pretend but those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace pretend to love fall from grace why do you think, think that gossip about famous people always sells people pretend that they love celebs but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level they want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks and sandals, or if they're get dating god knows who. Granted, socks and sandals is practically a pro public indecency, but still. <laughs> Oh please, as a bartender, I bet you have a st strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear about hear that stuff. It's like hairdressers, this sounds hypocritical coming from you. It, even if that were the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the keyword here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and, uh, and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that, le all that just leads the public... All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that dude plays the nice guy. That plays the nice guy is indeed really a nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play at that game of... Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I, I realized, I just realized that the bartender must, like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm, I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. You could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Big ears. A anyway, eventually the people from the stories no, it's them and blame me. Not only it, it, it would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, uh, like you remember me two weeks from now. Sure. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. 
<laughs> Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just the title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson is my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, the, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no, but I want them to fear me, not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one? Do you? Ah, uh, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's a charm. Give me a beer. All right. All right, beer. Not sure why we have to mix beer. I mean, just beer. We can't just pour out beer. One beer. Here's hoping I don't pass out. Cheers. Enjoy. Hey, kid, does this bar have any investors? You didn't call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all, all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to, to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Wow. Those bastards think they're so important because because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is, is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to the unions, the government, those, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal who's, that says, Hey, why don't you do that? Do what that other newspaper do does. Recently, they told me that, that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while, ke while keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Jill. Yes. What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell ya. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch fast. Alright. <clears throat> he wants a gut punch. I want to give him a gut punch, alright. Alright, so gut punch. A big one. It also means a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. All aged and mixed. Here. Hmm, you can actually do it then. Hmm? Hmm, this crack house is a bar? Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says... Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougall. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it, and there was an incident over the weekend. 
but it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to, to a motel for a couple of hours? Hell no. D no. Then I, I have no use for you beside, beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May, may I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Hey Jill, where'd you put the dish soap? Gills ran out. The little sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. Can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound way too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see, see something like that, it's hard to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, and the, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had, had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an al alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that, that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? That's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. He wants a pile driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him, though. <laughs> Alright, I have a pile driver. Here. Hmm, <clears throat> it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, do you, have you ever faked an orgasm? Um, no. Why would I fake an orgasm? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. Yeah, this is definitely not for kids, this game. This video would have been demonetized by now if, if it was monetized at all. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, a lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you should acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you you have a lot of like, you look like you have a lot of experience. Mm. Still, that's quite the random thought to to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need an another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit too quickly? That's my, that's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright, one Adelheid, nine Karma Trine. That's a lot of Karma Trine. Man, this is just gonna knock you out. A lot of Karma Trine. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. 
Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a past you're, of you, there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel like this this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I can't just that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. I mean, uh, okay. I tried sex tourism once. It was like bloody Russian... It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STD, so I left midway through. Once, one, I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring a three women for an orgy. Porn is the more amusing and way cheaper. I've also oh, hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day. For three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. Alright, break time. There's the logo. So here we here we can save our game. Look at those drawings though. I'm just gonna replace overwrite my first save file. It's now safe to keep playing. Uh thanks, I guess. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Put the same music. Though actually, you know what? Let's see. I, let's let's play the, the rest of the music then. Where do I go from? Okay, we've ended it. Where do I go from here? Right click to remove them. Got it. All right, so we ended up on where do we go from here? So start with Reed William. All right. Okay, the the fifty nine ninety nine for what? What is that? I don't know. Okay, then back in action. Good evening. Good evening. Um, would you mind taking in your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable that I usually forget I have it on. Oh, hello there. Is this better? Yeah, that's better. Hi. Girl in armor. Ooh. I like girls in armor. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist C.P. Asagari of the 7 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, say? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. But not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not a cool as in great and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Uh, sorry, did you get all that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that, give me a sec. Something small, sweet, and icy. I wonder if I have something specific. Small, sweet, and icy. So, we want something sweet and icy. We want something with ice in it. Something on the rocks. So, not a sugar rush. Not sparkle star. Blue fairy? No. Moonblast. Yeah, moonblast might work. Yeah, let's get for a moonblast. Let's get her a moon blast. So six Adelhide. 
Oh yeah, well we do want it on the rocks. So yeah. One powder delta, one planner guide, two karma trying. And small. There we go. Oops. Supposed to be blended. Moonblast. Here you go. Here you are. Ah, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guy to deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, oh no, no, no. You're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, we're obviously different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you'd say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We're, we're the angels who, who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We're the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from... stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashers, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Thought of. It's also really, re but it's also really, re re really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. And, oh, and one, there was this one time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was powering out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it, almost, it, was, it was all almost dreamlike. That, that's not what went as uh, shocking sights. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I miss you? Miss you? Er, did I miss you and you actually you meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered deepest and longest and most of straight frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. Finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Just a classy drink. So, I type classy drinks. Note the marmita was harmed in the making of this drink. Let's check the type. Bubbly, classy, strong. Probably something not too strong, right, for her. Can be a bad touch. Let's try that. And all the rocks and mixed. Here. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. We like these kind of drinks, so I want to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, now I don't know yours. Oh, sure, just, ca just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm, Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian J Julianne. Do not 
<laughs> Call me Julianne, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I, I, I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you be called? You like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Okay, I still feel feel, feel bad about angering you though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. I don't like ang like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. My mom used to be a veterinarian, so I, and I used to go to her clinic after school. So the smell takes me back. Makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Um, what, um, what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my a friend and was coming for me when, it, when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, but I just woke, I just woke up in, the ho in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then I felt this is my calling. I, that I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. It's kind of interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I, so I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. It's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies that to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few are assigned when the company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. I also saw a squad dedicating to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini? Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's a brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. If you want some marti- A martini- Sorry, a brantini. So, brantini. 8 out of 10 and smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Alright, give her a brand team. Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Really? Why? I, I like the feel of this place and I want to share it with her. Might be a bit difficult though. She's more into um, classier places. N not this this place isn't nice, but don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I, I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... Something happened. What was that? Sounds like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. She left her helmet. Well, she's coming back. I'll just hold it for her. I'll go, I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. 
Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. V Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ingus is rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar or true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Hmm? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Pickpockets don't kidnap people. But, but why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your frustration, your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, and have your horrible way with me, then brutally murder me, don't you? Oh, while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 murder. Murder. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can con uh, get a drink to calm her down or to throw at her face. What would calm her down? I'm not sure what would calm her down. Hmm. Early drink? Try sugar rush then. Actually, might not be the best idea if it's sweet. Hmm, fluffy, fluffy dream, maybe. Let's try a sunshine cloud. It tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell attached. Let's try this. Actually, you know, let's try something else. Fluffy dream, maybe. Let's try it. More of them will be sleeping soundly. Ah, that sounds interesting. All right, let's, let's give it. Let's give it a try. Oh, what is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars of drinks. A bar. So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. Calm down. What's you spice it with? What you spice? What did you spice it with? With roofies, TTX, pumpkins. God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I had ever added anything like that to your drink, they dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I have to pay any lawsuits myself. And, and the best case scenario, I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular fel felony. They show themselves all far out for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Brr. Even if you say that... Let's do something. If you go outside and hit just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier Dana's, that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. I should check inside the, the toilet paper's locker. What about it? Oh my god! How? Why? Wh how? I'm back. They tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem then. Try it on the drink. There's negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. You even knew your name. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. 
Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink or go through that door. Forget this ever happened. That will be it. You're at peace. That will be it. You're at peace and nothing of value will be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying that my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Eh? What about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know, I'm not that unimportant and your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all that so fast. How was it? Hmm... It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? The boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I, I see. Guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, then I'll take you on your offer. I have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up, then. He's asking for a piano, man. Don't see women asking for a piano, man, every day. Piano man. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist lift, left off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has an, has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor, on, in honor of a pianist friend of his that just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long hard day at work. Not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Kim. Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say AI work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read it every morning. In fact, in fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. Do you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chavinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people will have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work on server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it, the guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's just, it's, ag. Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No. Don't fret about it, I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. 
What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Yet they keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while skewering the, the whimsy of... All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is, is dealing with chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess as I was lucky, he, he Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a, D by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person with wanting to put, put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even even then, you when you're with her, her, everything just feels under control. She also has, has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Heh. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Should I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And aside, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. I mean, right up. She wants a Brant... Sorry, a Mart... Ah! A Brantini! Yeah, that. <laughs> it's a... Remember, a Brantini, not a Martini. You want it shaken, not stirred? Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. Yeah, adult stuff sucks. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks. Being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams. Yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way I became a bartender. I see. Finally! The dogs left a mess and I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, the client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who is he? A ghost? Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that! Why were you asking all those questions? Because now I think. Now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we, we idealized the, I, the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn and, you, and, you, and that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. 
Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So she's called Kim. How'd she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is, is too impersonal? Mm, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you to today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Hey, so we completed day one. We have $2,464. Cool. Jill is lost in thought about the hol a hollow plant. By it, it will prevent it from getting too distracted. All right. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this first episode of Valhalla. Yeah, it's interesting. Looking forward to playing more of it. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.